This is Mad River Television. Welcome to this week's show. I'm Ned Blowhard. A year ago, we presented a follow-up to the Creamore Springs infomercial that allowed you to buy beer seeds so you could grow your own beer at home. As an extra bonus, the first 100 callers who ordered their beer seeds were rewarded with a free hoe. Today, we present an in-depth look at the life of one of those hoes. Our reporter, Gabby Gavaro, has the story. Thank you, Ned. Except for being an only twin, Mary Magdalene's life growing up in Cremor was not that different from most kids. Her walk to and from school was downhill both ways, and her favorite subject was recess. But by her teenage years, Mary was starting to feel constrained by life in a small village, as her mother explains. My Mary was a really bright little girl. She had the talent to make something of her life, like, like be the, the manager of a brewery or something. But no, the, the bright lights of the city attracted her and off she went. Yes, it's easy to see the attraction of all the excitement that life in Collingwood has to offer. Yet the siren song that is life in Creemore still exerted its pull on Mary. And when the chance to become one of the free giveaway hoes came along, Mary made her move. But life did not turn out as expected. Chuck Smith was one of the free hoe winners. But as Mary delicately put it, he was not the world's greatest lover and Mary let herself go. Chuck was forced to return her to the brewery. It was not an easy decision, but as Chuck explained, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. Mary continues telling her story. The brewery wouldn't take me back. That was the start of my downward spiral. I tried to do some busking, but it didn't work out too well. I'm sorry, that's all I have. I got into a bit of trouble with the law. Life had no meaning. It didn't look like it was worth going on. for Mary? Is this another sign of the growing despair that our existence in this universe is fleeting and pointless? No. Somewhere in the vast reaches of our universe, an all-powerful being cast its jaundiced eye towards Mary, took pity, and acted. I didn't know what happened, but I felt as if destiny now awaited me. Well, why not? What's there to lose? We agreed to meet at a local cafe. I'd like one small coffee and the least expensive cake you have. The ad was true. He was poor, but also kind. I had met my dream man. Money means nothing when you are happy. We made do with what we had. We led a simple life. A romantic moonlit walk is free. We did manage to travel a bit, but there is no need to roam the world when the beauty of nature can be found in a single flower. And then something surprising happened. I'm confused, how can you afford this? Mary, I have not been entirely honest with you, but I wanted to make sure you really love me for who I am. I am, in fact, a multimillionaire. So this is where I live today. And you know, my mom was right. I can run a brewery. Darcy bought me Creemore Springs Brewery, and I'm going to keep it just the way it is. 